Rob is metal here. Doing a new let's play. I'm gonna play an old favorite of mine, Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic. I'm not a massive Star Wars fanboy, sorry, but I love this game. I played it for the Xbox. Played it all the way through, at least three times, I want to say. So we've got a couple of classes here. This is basically AD. I don't know if it's AD&D or regular D&D, but it's D&D in Star Wars form. Uh, we got your average soldier guy, your scouty dude, and your scoundrel. We're going to be playing the scoundrel. It's kind of the hardest class to play in the beginning, but you know what? We're just going to be cool like that. Let's be this guy. Hi. He, he, he waved. Let's see. I'm not too really worried about builds or anything like that, I'll be honest. Not at all. It's, it's not something I'm worrying about too much. Not going to get too much into number crunching. I'm not going to save levels. I'm just going to play the damn game. Sorry, bit of a cough, guys. That should be good. We're going kind of glass cannony. I'm already a the squishiest class, but you know what? I'm not worried about that. So let's get this. Our main focus in combat is probably going to be doing stealth and sneak attacks. Get those. Get that damage. Hold on. Okay. Uh, don't really need demolition right now. <coughs> like, not at all. There's no mines in the beginning. I'll pick up a level later, but we'll start off that way, and let's get our feats. Feet, these are the ones we start off with. Light armor, critical strike, sniper shot. No, these, these are our only two really good ones here. We are going to start off with... doesn't really matter what I pick in the beginning, because I get another feat as soon as I level up. So, let's do that. And our name is going to be... Jan Dakari. Torif Tora. Garen Jan... No, fuck that. We will be Robus Metal. Robus Metal. Going on great adventures here. All right, let's get started. Don't have much in the way of health. Who needs it? And look, it's the beginning to every Star Wars game ever. <laughs> I'm not going to read this out loud. Y'all can just read it. Hopefully. Knights of the Old Republic, 4,000 years before the rise of the galactic... What's it, who's it? Darth Malak, that's the bad guy. Not the invincible Sith Armada. This is still recording, I hope this is still recording. Hopefully this turns out good. Gonna start uploading this after I finish uploading Metroid Fusion. Still got a lot of Indigo Prophecy videos to upload. I think I'll just upload all of Fusion. Ha! And switch to this. Okay, yeah, that's enough of that. Oh, cool, still recording. I'm in the booth, having terrible dreams, there are explosions going on. I look so surprised. Just wandering around, and then there's this guy in his Devo orange Battle jumpsuit. The Endar Spire is under attack. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Your face doesn't have much time. Who are you? I'm trying 
Trask Olgo, Ensign with the Republic Olgo. Fleet. I'm your bunkmate here on the Endar Spire. We work opposite ships. I guess that's why you haven't seen me before. Now hurry up! We have to find Bastila. We have to make sure she makes it off the ship alive. How about your face gets off the ship alive? Bastila but who's Bastila? The commanding officer on the Endar Spire. Well, not an officer, really. But she's the one in charge of this mission. One of our primary duties is to guarantee her survival in the event of an enemy attack. You swore an oath just like everyone else on this mission. Now it's time to make good on that oath. Okay. I know all about your reputation. How you used to smuggle spice hey, and blast hey, hey, on the Corellian run. Well, well, they the never Republic proved that. They couldn't catch you. They might as well hire you. And I'll admit, the Republic is in desperate need of someone with your kind of skills. Desperate enough to overlook your shady Hey, path. hey, fuck you, now Trask. You on for this mission, Fucking you're part of the Republic fleet. And erase your top hair. At her side during this attack. <coughs> All right, well, let's go help Bastila. Grab your gear. You need to suit up so we can get out of here. Okay, let's grab the gear. Uh, so anyway, this is the game. I've got cute little shoes. Let's go over here. And this is all of our stuff. Stealth belt, computer and security spike, a blaster pistol, and a little sword. Okay, let's equip our stuff. Didn't I take the... Oh, I didn't take the items! Nice. Okay. Get experience points for that. Let's... Let's just start off shooting people. Right now, it really doesn't matter what we do. It's the beginning of the game. Everything's easy. Simple. Soon things will get frustrating, though. This is basically the tutorial level. Okay, let's take a look okay, at ourselves. All right. Because of the attack, this room is in lockdown. But don't worry, I've got the override code. Okay. You'll have to use me to unlock the door. And I will use you. You but. always control the leader of the party. You can switch who is the party leader by left-clicking on their portrait in the lower left corner of the screen. Okay. Left click my portrait Sorry. And switch me to the party I'm getting lead assaulted with text me messages. Left click to target mm -hmm. the door, then left click it again. With yeah, the okay, I know how to do this. I was just hoping there would be a quicker way to switch than uh What? So how many how many health points? Is, I have 6 health points. That is not a lot of health. How many do you have? 36. Huh. Well then, I guess that 10 constitution is really going to help me out. Oh yeah. Got to be you. That's now why I'm not going to be getting in. You know what, actually, let's give Trask, just to be safe, the sword. So he goes in, engages the knuckleheads, and soaks up our damage. This is Karth on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oops. Us in our portable communicator. I should probably He's not do that. That was Karth pilots. for a He's split seen second. He's the rest of the Endar Spire's crew put together. If he says things are bad, you better believe it. We have to get to the bridge to help defend Bastila. Oh, There's a this map guy. of the Endar Spire and a copy of Karth's message in your electronic journal, mm -hmm. just in case we get separated. Okay, let's move out. Sorry if you guys wanted to watch this to learn how to play the game, but ain't nobody got time for that. That door is locked, and I don't have the codes hmm. to open it. You'll have to use your security skill on it if we want to get past. Can we just bash it open? We actually can, but... Well, can we in this? Is that only in the next... I don't know. Car Trask, get out of the way! <sighs> okay, whoops. You gotta click on the skill. Got it. And... Bob and Weed Man, you, you got this. And get wrecked. Okay. Yeah, for the Republic. Let's sniper shot him, and you can charge in. Using a sniper shot, uh, 
Basically, this game runs off automated dice rolls, so using a sniper shot gives you a higher range to get a critical hit. It's normally 19 to 20. I think if you use a sniper shot, it's like 18 to 20? Something like... Uh, well, let's look. Yep, these are skill... Uh, where are my feats? There we go. Let's... Doubles the critical threat range of melee attacks. Oh god, math. <coughs> oh, so for instance, if... Okay, so it doubles your range. So let's say... Uh, I have an 18 to 20 chance with uh, a weapon. Like, let's look at this. My critical threat range is 20, so it doubles it so I can get it on a 19. If it was a critical threat range of 18 to 20, it would double to 16 to 20. Critical hits do more damage, and I think they stun too. So I also get a stealth bonus, so... Right now, I'm obviously not getting critical hits. I am, in fact, getting the shit shot out of me. So let's use a med pack while... Trask does... Oh, snap. Okay. Trask, what are you doing? God. Thanks for nothing. You jackass. Okay. I think there was a combat suit in there, which we will definitely need. <coughs> yes, there was a combat suit. So that's gear. It just increases your damage threshold. Let's give... Uh, you, the longsword, are marginally more damage. And I have to remember to unequip that off. Oh, remains? Whose remains? Did I open the metal box? Wish they put like an emptier, looted option. Come on, remains! So I also played Knights of the Old Republic 2, and I will admit, I like that game a lot better than this one. A lot of people don't, but I prefer the crafting aspect of it more. I, I like making crazy 100 plus damage blasters. You can't really do that at all in this game. But, and I think I like, honestly I like the characters in the, other, the second one better, so... If I can actually commit myself to complete this game and upload all of it, I'm definitely going to get Knights of the Old Republic 2 from Steam, and we are going to play that shit. And that's some collateral damage. Sure is tough being a stith. Not a stith. You know what, let's try something crazy here. Just, just for shiggles. We're going to use stealth. Here we go. Rob is... Let's see. LP1. So this is my first LP save. So they can't see me right now. Oh, maybe I should do this with a... You know what? Let's not do this. Let's... Do that. And you need to go... Finish them off. Very nice grenade. Oh, there's a lot of these guys. Well, good thing I'm just a... Uh, Trask is a soldier class, so he just does lots of damage. There we go. And everyone's dead. Cool. Time to loot, loot, loot. Loot, 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 loot. This is going to be a really long LP, guys. I don't know if I have the stamina to do it. We'll see. And there's something going on behind that door. Let's switch what? back to Roby. <laughs> uh, what? Everything looks the same! Okay, let's go this way. It's a dark Jedi! Okay, so we've already got lightsabers in the mix. Kick him in the face! Kick her in the face! Battle of the century right here. And he's dead. 
And she's dead. Can that we get the lightsaber? Oh. Used her help. Goon squad. May as well open up. To be honest, I played this a long time ago, so I don't actually remember some of the advantages of doing certain things. Like, I think it doesn't really matter if you just use normal attacks or if you use a special attack every turn. I don't know. If you know, like, comment, and subscribe. That's a vibration cell. You use that for uh, customizing certain items, making them more, I guess, strong, viable. Uh. Okay. Let's drug up, Trask. Yes. Okay. There's that. <coughs> let's. Let's see. I can actually do wield in this game, but I'm not going to. I'll do a singular, singular deal. I don't know what word I'm looking, thinking of here. Oh, there are more, more of these guys. Okay. You can queue up three attacks, so kind of plan ahead. Bastel is not here on the bridge. They must have retreated to the escape pods. We better head that way too. The Sith yep. want Bastel alive, but once she's off the ship, there's nothing stopping them from blasting. You might notice this game is extremely similar to Neverwinter Nights, and it is. But I like this game a lot more than Neverwinter Nights. Uh, Neverwinter Nights is just too tricky, too much thinking involved for me. And everyone on the ship is dead. Hey, we leveled up though, so that's always good. And is there anything? Oh, almost forgot. There's a backpack in this corner. Okay, more blaster pistols we don't need. Okay, so let's level up. Are you got new skills? So let's get some demolition. We need to be putting a skill into stealth every single turn, and then everything else kind of doesn't matter. I'm going to save that for repair, because I want to have a repair skill for a specific reason. Um, so we have dueling. Let's get improved conditioning. Or, not empathy. Uh, plus one to all my saving throws. Remember, all the, this game is based off dice rolls, so plus one is great. Plus two is better, so on and so forth. Alright, Trask. You know... You're cool and all, but I think you need to get naked. And I think you need to give me that sword. Well, you don't get naked still, but you know what? <clears throat> now, some of you may be wondering, why would you do this to Trask? Do you not like Trask? And I guess I don't, but, well, I'll just show you. Something behind here. Yeah, so where'd you get a sword? Damn, another dark Jedi. I'll try to hold him Well, up. you got this. Pods. Go. No problem, Trask. I have no issue with this. And look, you're dead. Trask! No! He's bought me the time I need to escape. I should make my way to the starboard section of the ship. Well, before we move on to the next uh, area, I'm gonna call this a video here. My name's Robert Mellis from Star Wars Knights of the Republic, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.